hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel yesterday waking up in the morning i decided to go through my youtube channel and the first notification that popped up on my channel was from one of cameron's youtubers by name big boutiques so i said okay what is big boutiques trying to talk about what has he uploaded and boom i saw from the title that uh uh Brenda show and a Rasta Kobo sister something something fighting in the streets of Belgium Antwerp and I was like what's this one again so I couldn't get to watch any video from what he was saying because he basically made a voice over and he was talking about the fight so as I finished watching uh, what he had to say there was a notification on my Facebook from Brenda show that she's live so I just said okay let me try to follow up from her if she has come live she will definitely have more explanation to the content big boutiques just reported on his life on his facebook page on his uh youtube page rather and she came on she was ranting immediately she just came on there were more than five people 500 people already online with a twinkle of an eye there were already 1000 and something people online and the calls there were lots of calls coming people were asking questions people had a lot of uh, 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 contributions they had to make regarding the video and there were some people when they called they'll be like ah as i watched that video yesterday night i know for his sleep i know for his sleep just a lot of comments a lot of pitting comments a lot of people were like we are happy that you had to restrain for the sake of your child because you, it, all those things they happened in front of your child and i was like ah, ah what was this video all about where can i see this video i had to at one point in time abandon her show halfway i went on facebook i searched for this video and bam, i found it when i found this video oh my goodness and i watched it just some seconds into the video hey the slap i heard eh, i just heard bang on my own even i sh i shook it was like something electrocuted my ear i was like what's that sound coming from what did happen what happened ah that sound was powerful brenda <laughs> if you have not consulted please go to the hospital or, or to a pharmacy let them check your ear and see if there's something uh wrong with it if something happened so and she was trying to justify a lot of things and her caption said um there are three sides to a story mine theirs and the truth which means apparently what uh baba put out baba is a uh, kobolistic uh Kobos sister. Kobos is a motivation, a Cameroonian motivational speaker for people who do not know her. And Brenda, equally on the other hand, is also a Cameroonian motivational speaker. So, uh, what in not in a nutshell she was trying to say is, there is her side of the story. There is a side of the story of what Baba and her people put out, and there is definitely always the truth. She said a lot of things on her video yesterday. One of them, she was like really furious and she was blaming Kobos on a whole lot of things. And to my own opinion, I don't even see why you're blaming Kobos because you said in your life yesterday that Baba was uh, telling you that why are you calling her sister's name and their father's name and that she has screenshots and you were like, if she could bring those screenshots to prove that you had on one occasion insulted her father Okobos on Grand Divest platform, she should bring it forth. That because you had the one always trying to defend um, Kobos, that there were times even that uh, Ndiveshila will hang up the phone on you because you're trying to discourage her and advise her not to vlog about Kobos. So that was what we were trying to say that yesterday. And you are like, Ndiveshila is, by the way, not a kid. So there is no way that. Uh, Baba will expect you to be the one foiling Diveshila to be putting out negativity out there that Diveshila is a mature person on her own and on the other side you're blaming uh, Kobos for being the one that sent Baba to come and beat you so if you're saying Diveshila is a mature person and you cannot influence her to do anything it's the same way as Baba is a mature person because Baba you're talking about her sister you're talking about they are talking about her father I don't know how true the story is but those are things that is about her family so she could equally decide to walk up 
it's possible that she saw that Kobos is being a weakling, a weaker person with a softer heart that she really doesn't want to react and she must have taken like upon herself that okay since my sister have talked to her time without number and she's being like so calm about the whole situation and they keep dragging her name on social media then let me stand up and take action since i'm closer to this person let me set an example on her it is possible that that was what she thought on her own i really felt for kobos i've been feeling for her because the way they've been dragging her name on this social media it's really not even fair as a woman i really do feel for her they did so when she was single when she was married they coupled it with her husband they are just dragging she and her husband left right center up down forward backward it's 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 disheartening when someone watches those things so i really used to feel for her i used to be like i don't i'm not taking sides here the sheila could be right in the things she's saying kobos could be lying on her other part trying to say she's innocent but the last video she put out where she had to cry on social media saying that if she has offended Ziveshila on any like in any way let Ziveshila forgive her Ziveshila equally went ahead to make a video and she said that um she has a lot of things like in her chest that she needs to air it out with Kobos and she said if they can propose a neutral platform, not hers or Kobos' platform, she would willfully participate or partake in that platform so that she and uh, Kobos could talk their issues out. And there were a lot of YouTubers that they were already volunteering, discouraging other YouTubers not to vlog further about this situation. Rather, they should look for a platform on how they can bring peace. They were discouraging people that they should not talk about the situation further. A lot of YouTubers were coming on, like volunteering their platforms that they should bring peace. And yesterday this happened. I thought we were a step towards peace. So when I saw this yesterday, I was like, hey, if they have already targeted Brenda, that Brenda is just a supporter of Ndiveshila, she's not even the one coming in front of the camera to come and put out all these things, then they could also already be a target towards Sheila. I don't even, I'm not really for these things that people, we come about and we are really bringing other people down. To me, it's not healthy. It, it can destroy homes. And if people are not very strong, people are weak. Some people have thick skin that you can call their names from now until infinity. They don't care. They don't give a damn. But some people they will react adversely towards set, uh, certain situations like this. There are some people that they can even go ahead to take like take their own lives. Like when, when I was listening to Brenda's show yesterday, there was a lady that called I was advising Brenda that they should bring peace. She said there were two ladies that were quarreling and the other one said the other lady was pregnant and one of the, the one, other one told the one that was pregnant that when you enter the labor room, you're not going to make it. And unfortunately, when that girl entered the labor room, she couldn't make it, she died. The other girl now she's in trouble so sometimes the words we use we may use them out of anger but something can happen tomorrow and those words will come back to haunt us and you, we are even innocent we could be innocent but because we used those words out of callousness they will come back they will not come back void they will come back with something and the things they will come back we will not be able to withstand so i'm just really calling on the cameroonian community we are doing a great job we have great talent we have a lot of youtubers coming up even though a lot of youtubers have come up as, as a result of the crisis between kobos and Ziveshila and the crisis to between Ziveshila and dope sierra a lot of youtubers have come up their camps coming up but i just i'm just for peace i just want that we should use our voices and mediate let there be peace Sheila came on live yesterday. Um, I know she had a lot to say, but yesterday I was on live too, so I really could not get to catch what she was saying. Because on Sundays too, I do come live. I'm still trying to adjust a time that will suit me when maybe my viewership gets to grow, when time, which time is more convenient that we can make our lives. We talk more about sensitive and topics that they are affecting us. We talk about domestic violence. We talk about rape. We talk about, uh, like yesterday, we were talking about, uh, in reference to um, the guy that killed people in Bahrain, you know, uh, a traveling agent was involved. And Kobo's case equally and Grand Zivet's case to an extent, it, a, an agent's name was mentioned too. So we just brought those issues yesterday and 
the topic of that yesterday was more like how well do we know our travel agents what are the things you need to know about it like a travel agent before you get to like uh consult with the person or submit your documents or give your money for the person to work a line for you those people are just like visa facilitators they don't know more than you know if you go online to do your research to do your inquiries there's a lot more if you're getting to meet those people you could already be asking them questions and you could have more and um, more ample information so it was like an interesting topic a lot of people called those that had been victims so that those that were giving advice so those are the kind of topics that we always lean towards that like affects us in our day-to-day -day lives i could not really get what and Zivashila was what she talked about yesterday i woke up this morning and i stepped out of the house i did not have time to follow like watch her because she was on live yesterday for long so if I'm, i have to sit to follow what she said that means i'm dedicating four to five hours of my time to follow uh, what she had to say online all i came here to say was just to report what had happened that yesterday give my own two cents to the matter and i am just here for peace i really wish that what happened yesterday i had foreseen this i knew that there will come a time where this thing will no longer be holding cameras and calling people's name but it will lead in the physical and you can imagine two big ladies two grown ladies fighting in front of a child even that slap can traumatize that child I knew one day it was going to lead to this. I just hope that they will learn from what happened yesterday and they look for another like forum where they can really actually come together and mediate and bring peace, let peace reign in our in our community, in our Cameroonian community. So that will be it about my video for today, guys. Until we meet again. Ciao.